Well, hello my friends. Today I am back with my December 2016 budget. This is the last budget of the year and I'm really excited about it. However, I'm actually really nervous too because I'm gonna talk about something for 2017 while I'm doing the budget. So let's get into this. This week I'm gonna be using, or not this week, wow, I'm so used to like doing a plan with me. I actually just filmed a plan with me before this. Um, but anyway, so I'm actually using a washi sample that a good friend of mine gave me. This is from Jody. She's also a YouTuber. I will put her channel below. If you'd like to subscribe to her, which you totally should. She does plan with me's and other really fun other videos that are kind of stationary related. Um, also like organizing tips, things like that. So definitely she is, if you like me, you probably like her. Okay, so we actually went out to dinner not that long ago and she gave me this washi, which I thought was super cute and like perfect for December. So I wanted to use some of it on the top here. I like to make my, I mean, I know people ask me this, they're like, why are you doing this to your planner? Or not my planner, but like my budget. Um, you know what? I like literally, this just sits open like this during the month and I just make sure that I'm on track. So the cool thing is, is that I wanna look at it and I want it to be pretty, you know? I don't know about you guys, but I really like it when things are pretty, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm crazy, I don't really know. But I like the way it looks and you know if if this is what gets me organized and like on the ball about things then like woohoo go me um so yeah but I'm just gonna write in on here December and oh by the way this is the Erin Condren always a re reason and season to celebrate this is the monthly collection designer sticker book I will be putting a link below to the Erin Condren site um, I have a unique clickable link where if it's your first time purchasing anything through Erin Condren, oh, that's not straight. Um, what happens is you sign up under that link, they will send you a unique coupon code to your email, and then you use that coupon code, and then when you get $10 off, and then I'll get $10 towards my next purchase too, which is really cool. And this is um, a notebook. This is the Take Note College Ruled Notebook. I'll put a description of what this is below as well. So yeah, it's got like this page on this side, and this page on the other. That makes sense? Okay. All right, got that out of the way. I'll be leaving links below. That's all you need to know. <laughs> all right, so moving on, let's get into the paydays. So let me actually grab my planner because I'm not sure how many Fridays there are in December. I've got to look because, you know, I got to look. Two, three, there's actually five Fridays in December. Okay, cool. I get paid every single Friday. So it's with the new job, I get paid every Friday, which is great. Um, I will be taking some holiday time in December. However, I am gonna be working the entire time I will be um, with my family. Because the new company that I'm working for is very, very small, kind of more like a startup kind of a thing, they do not offer vacation time yet but I will be taking the company laptop and I will be working on a massive project while I'm gone. So I will be putting in my 40 hours for the week that I'm gone. I'm actually gonna be gone a little longer than a week, but um, I'm gonna be gone, what, five, five business days and then like, I think two other business days the week after, but I'll be able to make up, uh, I'll be able to just, you know, work those, you know, eight hours per day on average. I mean, I'm gonna work on the weekends and stuff too and just, just get my time in if that makes sense. So I'm still gonna be getting paid, so that's good. Cause I just really don't wanna go without a paycheck because that kinda busts my budget and my savings goals and all of that. So I wanna make sure that everything is going okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna get a little bit more real on how much I make. And this is a scary thing for me, but next year, like in a month, my next budget plan with me is going to possibly be, I haven't 100% decided yet, but since I'm doing a whole new thing where this is kind of just a general budget, I'm gonna be putting in like exact amounts of every single thing throughout the month. And it makes me really nervous to actually write down like how much I get paid per week or per month or whatever. 
But you know what? You guys have been so supportive and I think it's not going to be a problem um, because the thing is I'm going to be using that notebook, my next notebook, for actual numbers and goals. So I want to make sure that I don't want to do one for YouTube and one for my personal. Does that make sense? Like that it just seems so cumbersome and I don't want to do that. And I feel like, you know, we've all kind of built this little community here where everyone's very supportive. I don't really get that much negative feedback. I do once in a while, but then I just like block them and whatever. And it's usually like spammers, like people trying to like sell whatever they've got or just, if you have constructive criticism, like I'm totally down, like totally down for that. But when someone just says like, I don't like your videos, well then why did you even watch it? That's just like silliness. I don't understand why'd you waste your time. But those are just internet trolls and whatever. But the core, my core audience of people that actually click on these videos or are interested in budgeting, are pretty open to whether you make $100 a week or whether you make 100,000 a week. It doesn't matter, it's all about just budgeting. So, you know, everyone's pretty open so far. If that sometimes changes, I may not do these videos or do some of it, I don't know. We'll figure that out in 2017, but I'm going to use exact numbers in 2017 is my plan. However, ugh, it makes me really nervous. So, that being said, Let's get into like my pay stuff, whatever. All right, I'm still gonna use round numbers for this video, just a disclaimer, but I'm gonna get a little bit more real on how much I do make. My last Plan With Me video, I was not sure how much I was gonna make because of taxes. The taxes in North Dakota and Minnesota are completely different, and I forgot that when I actually filmed my last video. So, that being said, with all the health insurance and deductions and stuff, it's way less than what I had stated in my last video because I wasn't sure, I just, I wasn't 100% sure. So, let's get on with it. I'm, I'm so over me, like, just talking about stuff, and let's just put some stuff down. Okay, so paycheck number one, we've got five paychecks this month, which is actually kind of cool, especially since it's December, you know? Oh, oh my gosh, did you see what I just did? Paycheck number five. This is what happens when I like wanna talk, but then I need to write some things. Like I can't write and talk at the same time. Like forming full sentences doesn't work for my brain. Okay, so let me see here. So with deductions and taxes, what was it around? Mm, I think it was around like the 700 mark. So we're just gonna write 700 bucks. And I am hourly, I'm not salaried yet. I probably will be salaried in the future. It's just not right now, so. And even if I am just salaried, it, it'll be fine because it's gonna be the same amount anyway. So interestingly enough, last week I was supposed to be, not last week, I keep saying last week and I'm sorry. Uh, last month I was supposed to be seeing an insurance refund. Well, that never happened. And also they billed me for this month too and I'm filming in the month of November right now. So they owe me some monies. Um, let me actually figure out how much they owe me because they're supposed to be sending me a check. All right, so they owe me $219.36. So I'm gonna put that in there. So $219.36. What had happened was I, I think I explained this in my last video, I can't remember, but I moved and I notified my old insurance company that I would be moving, but I didn't want to cancel my insurance yet because I wanted to get covered in the state of Minnesota. Got covered in the state of Minnesota. They sent over the paperwork to cancel my old insurance. They obviously didn't get the message, even though I had called them and I said, hey, I have new insurance now. They were like, great, we'll get it canceled. We'll refund you the 109.68 that they had already charged me. And then I never saw anything. And then on the 15th, which it comes out on the 15th, I got charged again another 109.68. or 109 So I was like, okay, this is not working out. And then the next day I got charged my new insurance. So I've been like doubly insured for two months and it's been like, okay, you guys are messing my budget up. Stop it. Don't you watch my videos? Um, so yeah, so I don't really have anything else that I am planning on monies coming in. Maybe some YouTube money. I don't know. I don't want to put it in there because I don't think I'm going to make the threshold for not December, but November. Like it's always like a month behind, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. And if I get more money, that's great. So, all right, so let's do my total. So this is my projected incoming money for the month. All right, I'm gonna get more excited about this too, because I'm gonna put one of these little guys in here because it's kind of cute and why the heck not? And let's just put in some more of these because I think they're freaking cute. Okay, so that is 
done-ish, I guess. Um, all right, so down here, I am gonna put all of my bills. I think Netflix changed to like $10 or something, so I'm just gonna put that one in first because I'm talking about it. I'm gonna say that was like 10.41 or something a month. Um, something like that. Anyway, give or take a couple of cents. And then my cell phone has changed. I got a new phone and I got a new plan as well. So my cost actually went up, which I know you guys have had a lot of comments about how much I pay on a cell phone, but I was paying before $62.55 per month and now, oh, you know what? This month I actually don't owe anything on my cell phone because I traded in my old phone and I got like a credit of like $175 or something like that. So actually for my cell phone, I don't owe anything. So that's kind of cool. All right, I won't even talk about the cell phone then. Yay. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's more than $62 now. It's fine. I'm fine with it, yeah. All right, but I don't know anything because I traded in the phone for a credit and that's showing up on the bill. My Wi-Fi, my insurance is 104.17. My actual insurance, not my other insurance that I wasn't supposed to be paying, but whatever. All right, so let's actually, I need to look up how much my Wi-Fi is because I always forget how much it is every month and um, yeah. All right, let's look it up. $45.29, okay, got it. $45.29 is the Wi-Fi. All right, cool. That is all I have for my like fixed expenses. I don't have a credit card payment or anything like that this month. I also um, did all of my gifting this past month in November. So I have all the gifts that I wanted to buy, I've already purchased. So there were some good deals and I actually got the lists of a couple of people that I needed to buy for, mostly kids. So with that being said, I don't really have much else that I need to put in the like, you know, kind of standard deductions. So let me put in like my cash of what I'm planning on spending and we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna use this little guy right here to kind of show my cash category. And we're gonna do grocery, dining, clothes, and then planning. And if you guys haven't seen my new updated cash clip system, I will leave that video down below. Um, you guys have seemed to really, really like it because it has gotten a lot of views and a lot of comments. So that's great. Um, Glad that I'm inspiring some of you to do something a little bit different with your cash. So groceries is gonna be a little bit different this month. The reason why is because I'm gonna be gone for, I believe it's 11 total days. So that is like grocery money that I don't need to put into here. I'm gonna be staying with my parents so they will be, you know, providing the groceries if you will. I mean, I might pay for some stuff while I'm there, but I'm gonna make my grocery budget a little bit smaller. I usually do about $200 per month for groceries. And that's just all food stuff. With groceries, I don't actually put in like laundry soap, paper towels, shampoo, like those kinds of things because I don't tend to overspend in that category, but I do overspend on food food if I am not, you know, budgeting for it. So I need to kind of like restrict myself a little bit, but it also gives me permission to spend whatever money I have in the clip for that month. For my grocery budget, I think I'm gonna just do like 140. Um, that just seems like a good number just because I'm gonna be gone so many days and then for dining I'm gonna maybe bump that up a little bit I might do like let's do like 70 no let's do like $80 because I'm gonna have some airport things so you know what I mean as for clothing let's go with like another nice even round number of like 60 bucks for planning let's do like 20 all right that looks good so let me calculate the cash that should be like a hashtag like calculate the cash it sounds very fancy, but it's like, it's not fancy, it's just math. All right, so cash total, 300 bucks. And also in the month of December, um, actually end of November, I budgeted for this as well, but I'm gonna be starting to invest in November. It's still November right now, I know it's confusing as I'm talking about this because I'm doing December's budget, but in December I'm also gonna be doing some investing too, as well as paying my investment advisor i don't know how much he charges because we haven't really talked about it yet but um 
that's gonna be part of the excess. I would normally put it right here, but I don't know how much I'm going to be investing in the month of December. Um, we've talked about some things and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be doing around like the 200 mark per month in a mutual fund, but I'm not 100% sure yet because we're having another meeting this upcoming Monday. So when you see this video, the next Monday, we're gonna have another meeting and we're gonna talk about it and anyway way too much information and I apologize. This video is gonna be really long and really blabby. So I, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. All right, so I feel like I should have like way more stuff in here, but I don't. Um, oh, also my Cobra is not gone anymore, but I am covered for the month of December. My new employer is gonna be insuring as of January 1. So I have to have my payment in before the month happens, if that makes sense. So in the month of December, I don't have a technical insurance payment because I already prepaid it last month. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So that's the biggest bill that I actually have in my budget at all. So yeah, but that that's going away and that's gonna be a part of the deduction that's taken out of this um, in the month of January, starting the first. So I won't actually know what my pay is going to be until January 1 when we start getting that, you know, deducted um, per paycheck. Let's get this totaled up and let's close out this video because I am in a really blabby mood and I am sorry. Oh, you know what I didn't put in? Wow, I am such an idiot. I didn't put in like gas, like fuel for my vehicle, which is like extremely stupid of me. How about let's put in gas? Cause I'm like, wait a minute. It does not cost just that much to live. That's insane. All right. So I am generally filling up about every third day, three or four days. And because I live so far away from where I work, but it's totally worth it because I like, as you can see, I don't have like a traditional rent payment. So that being said, let's do like an average, I think it's around like 20 bucks to fill up. And if we do it, times well I, my car is gonna be here for a little while so i'll have to factor that in a little bit so let's do like 20 times 7 because that will give me like 7 fill up and i think that if i'm calculating right i think that'll do it maybe maybe not let's do like eight fill ups that makes sense okay so we'll do like 160 dollars the only reason I'm going a little bit shy on this is just because I'm gonna be gone for a full week and the beginning of another week. So I won't be using any gasoline at all. So my car's just gonna be sitting here, which will actually be kind of nice. All right, let's get back into the party here. All right, so 45, 29, 104, 17. Okay, no, I don't want that. Wow, it's still like so inexpensive. Budget looks so weird, you guys. I know some of you are looking at this and going, oh my God, she makes so much money and her life costs so little. And I totally get it. I totally get it. You should watch some of my old videos where my life costs a whole lot more. But I am in a mode for saving right now and I'm saving for a house. So yeah, that's happening. So I am living at my parents' summer home temporarily because they're not here and you know, it's fine. I do live a little farther away, so I pay more in gas and like maintenance on my vehicle, but I think that it's a really good thing because I've been on my own before and it's fine and I'm technically on my own right now, but I'm not paying any of the incoming bills besides the Wi-Fi. That's probably gonna change. Um, when I see my parents in December, when I'm, I'm gonna go to Florida, and I currently live in Minnesota, um, I'm gonna talk to them about that and say, hey, can I just pay for some of the other bills that come in here? But this place is bought and paid for, so there's no like traditional mortgage. Um, I, don't, I don't know what they wanna do. So anyway, I wanna talk to them about that. They might just say, no, we don't want you to pay anything. We just want you to save for your house, and that's good. Or they might say, yeah, we want to charge you for everything. I don't know. We haven't really had that conversation. So um, talk to my mom a little bit about it, but I want to talk, include my dad in the conversation too, because he might have his own opinions and I'd, I'd really like to get their feedback. So anyway, so now I'm going to take this number minus these numbers and then we will get a total. That's my total of excess for the month. So, all right. So anything above and beyond that, if I do get YouTube money, which would be fantastic, but I'm not really, you know, banking on it. Um, anything above and beyond that is going to go all into my savings anyways, because like I said, I am saving for a house. So um, that has kind of like consumed my life, honestly. <laughs> and also with some of my investing that I want to be doing, that is going to be incorporated into this budget at some point, probably in January, because that's going to be more on a set schedule. Once I get that figured out, then I'll be able to like kind of work that in. So yeah. Um, but 
anyway, I'm going to close out the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed a look and a peek into my finances. Um, January 1, everything is kind of changing and we're getting a little bit more real onto how much money I actually do make. So anyway, that being said, if you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you want to see more budget videos from me. I also have lots of other plans for 2017 and I really hope that you guys stick around. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. I do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. So I'm going to let you guys go for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a part of your day. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.